what's up everybody welcome back to another video on aspects from exotic astrology and today we will discuss on the aspects of rahu and ketu okay rahu ketu as per classics the aspect the fifth house and the ninth house from wherever they are sitting okay and because they are retrograde so the ninth aspect from wherever rahu is sitting is actually the fifth aspect and the fifth aspect from wherever Rahu is sitting is actually the ninth aspect okay and before beginning the time of eclipse has passed so now I must say that God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do it otherwise you will not see these videos <laughs> And if you have not clicked in the bell, then click it so that you get the emails when I upload them, okay? Now, what is Rahu? What is Ketu? We have discussed in the videos earlier. If you have not watched, then please go and watch them, okay? On Rahu and Ketu. So now Rahu, Ketu, they deal with our past lives, okay? Of the things that we were obsessed about and the things that we are now letting go, okay? Therefore, these two are the planets which deal about the activities of our past many, 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 many lives, births, okay. Rahu represents those things which we could not achieve, okay. And those are the things that we are obsessed about in this life because we could not achieve them, okay. We had a great desire to achieve them. And Ketu represents those things which we achieved in our past lives and so now we are detached from it we want to let go of all those things okay we discussed about this earlier right so now why are they given these two special aspects fifth aspect and the ninth aspect because fifth house deals with the past life okay and ninth house deals with the next okay it's not next life it is what we do in this life which decides our destination for the next life okay because it is the house of higher upliftment spirituality god gurus etc okay this is how we find upliftment in our life yes that is why they are given these two special aspects the fifth and the ninth aspect which means that whatever we have done in our past okay their fifth aspect controls it and whatever we are likely to do in this life, the ninth aspect controls it, okay. So Rahu and Ketu, as per some classics, also have the aspect of 212, okay. And because they are retrograde, the second aspect is the second house from Rahu Ketu is actually the 12th house, okay. But I will leave that unto the debate to be completed, okay. But as of now, I have seen my... In my own experience, they affecting the 5th and the ninth house from wherever they are sitting. Strongly, okay. So, whenever Rahu aspects some house, it has a tendency to put Rahu's traits in that house, okay. Which means it will try to gain that house without any obstruction, okay. Even if there is obstruction, he will kill and beat and finish and rip apart everybody and just go and get it okay that's what Rahu's aspects mean okay and there can be something very unusual about that house wherever Rahu and Ketu's aspects are falling okay there can be uh, something revolutionary okay if Rahu is aspecting Venus the person can be obsessed about having love relationships with people of a different caste creed community religion and if Rahu is aspecting Jupiter the person's pursuits of spirituality will be very unorthodox okay they will be very much based on his own conceptions of what is right and wrong okay and rahu basically represents those areas of our life which are under construction okay so if rahu is aspecting venus or jupiter or any other planet okay it gives us an indication that those are the areas where we have not learnt our lessons okay we are yet to learn the lessons there <laughs> that is why they say that Rahu is a malefic 
it gives you trouble sorrow pain suffering tears it gives you uh, the propensity of being cheated why because we only get cheated in those areas where we do not have expertise okay not necessarily always but roughly that means that area is under construction okay if sun is under aspect of rahu then it is seen that the person can have a bloated ego at times which means he does not know what is the balance of a healthy ego okay and if moon is under rahu's aspect then the person's emotions <laughs> moon rahu needless to say <laughs> similarly ketu ketu can also represent confusion at times okay so if sun is there with ketu or sun is aspected by ketu or somehow linked then the person can be trying to find his life purpose okay and he might be confused or what should i do in life same is if ketu is with moon or aspected by moon then the person can have uh, unrealistic conceptions of what happiness means in this world okay because moon is the planet that deals with our happiness in this world right therefore wherever rahu ketu is aspecting those houses are considered to be the most important houses in the horoscope and wherever they are sitting also and that is where the balance of free will and fixed karma comes in because see rahu ketu are sitting in two places they will aspect two places each so six places are covered okay and the rest six houses are not under rahu ketu influence directly so that means half of the horoscope is under rahu ketu's implication okay which means our desires from the past okay our actions and our goals in this life so see how strongly we are controlled by the past okay that is what the scripture say that unless you give up your attachments okay and try to take to spirituality you will not attain moksha that is why the scripture say because half of the horoscope is under rahu ketu the snake's influence okay so you are paralyzed by them when the snake bites you you are like ah i'm dead <laughs> so that is it from my side rahu ketu and aspects nice to know about the snake and where it splits the poison okay so until next time if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know in the box and before ending as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will save you from the aspects of rahu and ketu okay so there bye i end this video until next time bye bye see you